So, we have a beautiful matchup between the Timberwolves and Philly. And Tony Edwards explodes on Jalen McDaniels. And they were laughing about it. Great dunk from Ant-Man. That was about the only thing that went well for the Timberwolves. Here's Rudy Gobert trying to go at Joel Embiid. And yeah, th that was when I knew the game was just over. Yeah, I don't know what the hell was going on there, but it felt like the Timberwolves just lost their way right there. And uh, Embiid started to just dominate, absolutely dominate. Here he hits the three ball in Rudy's face. And it was pretty much over here as well. He just cooks him on the step back. And I mean, that's a center doing that. He's just so great, man. I mean, he's got to be an MVP at some point, right? I mean, we already gave it to Jokic pretty much, but man, I don't know. Block here by Embiid. And every time they try to come back into this game, it was more of the same. And Embiid essentially took over the game. They just suffocated the Timberwolves. They couldn't get anything in the paint. Once Rudy started to go at Joel and the perimeter defense with TJ, PJ, PJ Tucker back was so much better and there was no Harden tonight, but Tyrese Maxi stepped up and the Sixers just have a, such a solid team with much more depth. Jalen McDaniels, like I keep saying, is a great addition. George Snake, when he's shooting well, is great. And you always get some guys that just chime in. Shake Milton always chimes in when he plays in these you know, types of situations. Tyrese Max is 27, 4 and 5. The Anthony Melton is with 11 and 7. He's always gonna be a good role player. And Embiid with 39, 7 and 4, 3 blocks. 13 of 22. He hit 4 of 4 3 pointers. I mean, the guy is just sensational basketball player. And tonight was just another case of it, man. He's just so good. He's He's really good defensively. He can knock down the three ball. That mid range is money. He just, you know, is too comfortable in his spots. And when he gets comfortable, it's just, it's just hard to do anything about him. And Tobias Harris at 14 rebounds was back, which is great to see for the Sixers. As he missed a game or two. As for the T Wolves, the offense, like I said, was just Anthony Edwards and nobody else could really do anything. Shout out Nazrit and Tore and Prince, I guess, but. They couldn't hit the three-pointers, and uh, considering that especially the Sixers hit 15 of 30 or something like that, they had a crazy amount percentage from the three-point line, the Timberwolves just had 11 of 35 or something. And yeah, they weren't creating great looks except for Anthony Edwards, and they also weren't knocking them down, right? And Rudy Gobert got bullied off the floor, essentially, and man was trying as his best, but nobody else unfortunately chimed in tonight. They were holding up really nicely until, you know, the end of that second quarter, defensively at least, but then MB just got too overwhelming and their offense couldn't keep up at all with the size and just the perimeter defense and the interior defense for the Sixers, which was just too good tonight, which is co really great considering how they gave up uh, 140 to the Pacers yesterday, right? But to be fair with you, the Pacers make you play their own game. And the Pacers deserve more respect for that because they make a lot of teams play their way. Essentially every team. And yeah, that was just an anomaly. Shout out to the Sixers, man. What a, what a great team they are, actually. I still don't trust Dog, though.